Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. Today I wanted to share kind of a yard sale slash thrift haul with you guys. This past Saturday, I actually went out and hit a couple yard sales, but there wasn't too many in my area. And the ones that I did go to, I didn't find a lot at. So I always end up going thrifting after that because I just don't get enough of the yard sales, you know. So I'm like, well, I'll go thrifting. It's a lot cooler in the thrift stores. Walk around. See, can I find some things to resell on eBay? So I did find me a few things. And I found a couple things to resell because the thrift stores I went to just didn't have a whole lot. But... You know, it is what it is. Sometimes you go out, you find a lot of good stuff. Sometimes you go out and you don't find nothing. So, I got a pretty good bit of goodies here, though, I think. So, let me show you what I got. I hit um, just regular uh, Goodwills and yard sale. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you were the couple of yard sale things I got. Okay, the first thing that I got here is from my tag loans. It's a purse hooker and it's just a little purse hanger that you hang your purse off of when you don't want it set in the floor and stuff you can hang it off your tables or whatever I actually have one in my purse now but this would come with a cute little pouch so I thought I would just get go ahead and pick that up I actually got this at a yard sale and I think she charged me 50 cent for it so I thought that was cute maybe I'll throw that in a future giveaway or something Sometimes I like to just do like random giveaways in in any of my videos. That's why it's always good to watch because you never know. I haven't done one in a little while, so I need to I need to surprise y'all with one soon. All right, the next thing I got from the yard sale was this little like lacy bib necklace. I just thought that was kind of cute. I've always liked these kind of necklaces. Really cute. And I don't know why I got it. Just because I like jewelry. And it was 50 cents. And then she had a couple little like earrings in a baggie. And I picked it up. I think she I think I give a dollar for all these. Because there's about three pairs of earrings in this bag. Let me put my glasses on for this. So I can see. The little silver ones say they're sterling silver. This is the first time I've actually really looked at them. Made in Thailand. So that's those. I thought those were kind of cute. Little sterling silver earrings. And then inside the bag, there's two more pair of earrings. And these, I don't know what these are. But they're okay. Let me stick them in my fingers so you can see them full. That's what those look like. Just little round earrings. And then these are not real gold because they're turning. So they're a pretty earring though, but since they're turning, I probably won't keep them. Little hoop earrings. Those are kind of cute. I like that detail on them. See, I might see it better if I do that. I like that little detail on them, but uh, they are turning a little bit on the back. So I got those in that, but I main, mainly wanted the little silver earrings for a dollar. Okay, so the next thing I got from the yard sale, which I went to, I went to about three different yard sales, and I only got something at two of them. I picked up, she had a bunch of little baby clothes, so I picked up this cute little footed ones in here. And it's got the little bib with a frog on it. I thought that was so cute. I'm gonna give that to Chris and Rose for cash. And uh, Rose's mama likes frogs. That's why I picked it up. I figured she would like that. It's in good shape. It's clean. It's not stained or anything. So I just picked that one up. I thought that was cute. I could have bought the whole bin, but, you know, they'll have plenty of clothes. So I didn't want to get too many clothes. Next thing that I got from that same yard sale that I bought the uh, baby clothes from were these cute little 
adorable bedroom shoes. Are those not cute? <laughs> Christmas bedroom shoes. So cute. Got little pom-poms on them. I just thought those were so adorable. And they were new. Still got tag on them. So, I probably throw these on um, throw these on eBay when it's getting a little closer to time to put more Christmas stuff on there. Because I got a bunch of Christmas stuff in there that um, I've been waiting to list. Because it always, to me, it goes better when it's around the season. But I thought those were so cute. She, she charged me... I think it was two dollars for these but I thought they were so cute I couldn't pass them up and I bought like at Easter time I bought a bunch of um, Easter peep sh bedroom shoes and they they went really good I'd wish I'd had more of those because I, I think I bought probably about eight pair eight or nine pair got on a real good uh, deal so I um, sold every one of those so I thought maybe these would go good too because they're cute Okay, so I think that's everything that I got from the yard sales. The rest of it come from um, thrift stores, mostly Goodwills. I picked up this cute little blue owl glass here. I thought it was so cute. It was like a jar. I thought that was really cute, and I thought I might would like to drink, drink me some water out of that. Ice water. I give 99 cents for it. It's got a nice straw in it. But isn't that pretty? I love that color. So I went ahead and picked that up just because it was cute and I had to have it. Then I picked up this tab punch. And I actually paid $3.94 for this. I might just keep it for myself. I don't know. It could be worth a little bit on on eBay. Probably not all. I think I got uh, three or four in there. That I, I don't know if I want to keep them or get rid of them because I never use them. So I said, well, I'll get this one, and if I decide to sell them, I'll put it in a lot of all of them for sale. But it makes tabs for, like, your files and things like that. And it says tab on the top. But I give $3.94 for it. Because it came from Goodwill, of course. This is a shirt that I got for me. And I just love the colors on this thing purples and pinks I thought it was so pretty and it's actually made like this one it's just like this one I mean the flowers and all is a little different on it but it's got the same kind of like I don't know if y'all can see that those ridges and stuff in it well this one's made the same way and this is the most comfortable -ish shirt I just I like just wearing this just to beat around in so when I seen this one I'm like oh this is like my other shirt so I went ahead and got it and it's short sleeve. And I just thought it was cute. They're by White Stag. So I got that for me. And then I got this one for me. I couldn't resist this one because I thought it was perfect for me. It says, hey, y'all. See that? Hey, y'all. <laughs> so I got that. It's just a basic, like, T-shirt type shirt with hey, y'all on it. I can wear that sometimes when I'm doing a, doing a, uh, video kind of so I got that um, I paid 475 each for these shirts because they came from Walmart oh this is actually a Paula Dean shirt 475 a piece for those um, I picked this up I thought Chris and Rose might could use this for the baby it's just a, like the original change away it's like a portable changing kit and I paid two dollars and ninety four cents for that. That's kind of what it looks like right there. Where you put stuff in it, it lays out. Take it with you and have something to lay the baby on. And then the next thing I got, which I know most of you don't know, my son loves Batman. And when I seen this, I had to get it. I I always scan the baby's clothes and see what I can get new out of there and I got this mainly for the socks and the cape but it does have a little mask with it ain't that cute <laughs> I'm thinking at least nothing else dress him up in it and take a picture of him 
But it's got the little black mask and the little socks. It's got a little, few little strings that need to be trimmed off. But, and the little cape. Isn't that not adorable? And of course, when I see that, I'm like, oh, I gotta get that because Chris loves Batman. And he'll get to dress his son up in Batman. I thought that was so cute. I gave $3.94 for that. <laughs> they loved that price, $3.94 for some reason. <laughs> so I got that. And then the next thing that I picked up for me are a pair of pants. And these are Alf Alfred Dunner pants. And they're just like elastic waisted pants, which I love. With pockets, they're gray. These are like my favorite. I just like pants that you can just pull on. They're simple and easy. And these are a little bit heavier than the ones I normally wear, but that's okay. They're not too bad. But they got, they're just like a gray and black type material. And I ain't even tried them on. Hopefully they'll fit. But I got those for me, and I think I paid, I think it was $4.75 for those. This little shirt here at the... Um, his house, which their clothes are only two dollars a piece, and this was brand new with tag. It's Banana Republic. It has a tag on it for forty four ninety nine, and then it has like an orange clearance sticker maybe for twenty four ninety nine. And it's only a size four, but I couldn't leave it because it's new. And it's Banana Republic. It may take a while to sell because it's a smaller size, but. Hopefully somebody will snag that up. I thought it was kind of cute. Cute little blouse for two bucks. I couldn't leave it. Next thing I got, this is actually a man's, and this came from his house for two bucks. It's an extra, extra large by Disney. It's not the prettiest color because brown, of course, even though I got brown on, brown is not one of my favorite colors. But this is a Disney shirt, and it's a button front. Disney shirt. I think it's button front. Yeah. I don't know if there's some of you may not know, but I didn't learn this until I was doing eBay that if it doesn't button, like if it buttons down the front here and it don't have the little button that buttons down onto the shirt, it's called a button front. So if you're listing on eBay and you list in a shirt like this, if it don't have that little button right there, it's button front shirt. If it has the little button that buttons down to the shirt, it's called a button-down shirt. So I didn't know that when I was listing on eBay, but I know now. But anyway, it's Disney. It's got like palm trees and Mickey on waves and um, those wave boards, surf boards, stuff like that on it. And even though I wasn't crazy about the color, I thought... It still might sell. Just because I don't like brown don't mean somebody else don't like brown, right? Um, costume. I will pick up some costumes because I know there's a lot of people out there that like to dress up for Halloween. I don't necessarily, you know, celebrate Halloween myself. So I don't like to buy costumes that are like uh, witches and vampires and anything that's got to do with demons or devils or anything like that. But... Something just cute, you know, which to me, some people probably could wear this scandalous if they wanted to, but um, hopefully they won't. They'll just dress it up with some tights and stuff. But anyway, I picked this, this costume. I don't mind picking up costumes and stuff like this <clears throat> that are just, you know, normal. If it's slutty, too slutty. Or, this is like a Dorothy costume. Or, you know, something that shows half their body and witches and all that stuff. I don't pick them up at all. But I picked this one up. <clears throat> I picked this one up. This one actually has a tag. It came from the Halloween Express. So that's, we got that one of them up the road. It was $39.99. But I got it for like two bucks. <laughs> so I'll probably try to throw that up on eBay and... Because costumes sell pretty good on eBay. And then I picked up these. I didn't know what these was, but I thought they were kind of uh, cool looking. But until I looked them up, and they're like Wade shoes.
you can walk like walk in the water and wade in them it's like men's shoes i wish they were big enough to fit my husband but his foot's a little bit bigger than this but they're nice and they're made kind of like kind of like mesh that way the uh water can run through them and i got these at goodwill so I paid like six fifty for these, but I'm gonna resell them on eBay. I looked them up. And there's a couple of them have sold on eBay. That's what they look like. So I'm gonna sell those. <clears throat> and the last thing I got, I picked this up because I do have some recipes, not a whole lot, but a lot of recipes that. Um, I, some of the recipes I, you know, got off, um, YouTube and stuff. So anyway, I got this cute little, and I think I might have shared it in a thrift haul. It's a cute little, like, recipe binder in there that I was going to print off my recipes and put it in it. But it was more kind of like a file holder type thing. But when I've seen this, I, I was just curious to what it was. I'm like, what is this? You know, it's got rings on it. And I was like, what is this? So, it says, it's called a Porto Chef. And I was thinking about keeping this instead of trying to get sell it. Because it's like, see how it's made big at the top? And then it gets skinnier. Well, you flip it open. Flip it over. And then it's got the plastic things inside for you to put your recipes. And then it'll just, it'll stand up. You set it just like that on your counter and it stands up. See? So I thought that was kind of neat. I'm like, hmm, I could print out my recipes nice and neat and then stick them in here. And then whenever I use them, I can just set it on the counter and, and you know, look at them. And they're showing on here in this picture that it actually, you can like stick it on a bookshelf in between your other cookbooks. And then you can put all your recipes in it. This is magazine clippings, printed internet recipes, recipe cards, photocopies. I don't know how many. It shows you on the back here how to, on the back of this, how to uh, change the rings but it's got quite a few quite a few of these things in it so I don't know I don't know if I want to keep this or not because it's pretty neat I love the way it stands up and you could use it for anything else really if you wanted to instead of just a, um, instead of a recipe book I guess if you wanted if you had to have something like maybe music you know if you play music and you could print it long ways and it would probably even sit sideways yeah either way and um you know print it in there and li look at your music on it or whatever but i don't know i'm debating on this whether i want to keep it or not and put recipes in because like i said i don't have a lot of recipes but i only give two dollars and 94 cent for it now, it does have a little bit of white stuff here on it but i might can get that all but overall it's in pretty good shape for 2.94 Thing that I got, my air just came on, um, out yard selling and hitting the Goodwills, of course. I hope you enjoyed seeing this thrift haul. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.